Hey guys, welcome to Meal Prep Monday. My name is RH and this is my journey. So guys, welcome back to Meal Prep Monday. Um, I am excited about this week. I kind of did something different with my food. I did a, um, I did meatloaf, which I think I've done meatloaf in the past. I think about seven or eight videos ago. But this time I kind of tried to get creative and I put it in um, cupcake. Um, because I was just like, making like a really big meatloaf is just so challenging at times. I'm like, what, what is more simple? Um, so I put it in the cupcake pan and I cooked it and they turned out absolutely amazing. So I'm not, I don't eat ground beef anymore. So I use turkey. And then I, you know, did my little holistic approach to it. And I know I've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of my personal friends that actually want me to begin to incorporate um, my cooking back into my videos. So that is actually coming back up. I want to say in the next couple of weeks, um, if you watch my last week video, I had to go to plan B. So this past week I went to plan B and I, I believe plan B is going to allow me to, if I want, have longer videos. Um, and also just a little bit longer, not too much longer. I don't want long, long videos, but just long enough for me to actually incorporate um, my pr meal prep within um, the video. So that I am working on that. Um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and click the little bell at the top, ding, 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 for my uh, meal prep on Monday. Um, so without further ado, this week I did uh, cauliflower rice and um, meatloaf. So you can see that. Mm. So I kind of got like an updated camera and I'm kind of like, you know, like with the iPhone that I had before, I kind of had the it facing me so I could put the food and focus and all that different things like that. So I don't actually have that right now. So cross my fingers and hope this thing is working out. So um, let's get to it. So I had a lot of stuff happen this last past week. Um, a lot of excitement. My son uh, is returning back to uh, Connecticut. He's not, he's graduated from college. So. Um, but he is choosing to have Connecticut as his home base. So he had with getting him ready um, to head back up north. My mom had a procedure on her knee and my sister had a procedure, actual more than a procedure, she had surgery. So had a lot going on, a lot going on. Uh, Kind of one thing I want to share this week is, um, so I took my sister to her procedure and we were sitting in her room and doctors and different people are coming in and, you know, they're just kind of like taking her through the process to get her ready. And right when we got to the hospital, I got this overwhelming sense of coffee. Now, Anybody that has been watching my videos over the last couple of weeks know that um, I stopped drinking coffee about three months ago. It, I was literally sitting in the hospital and it was like I could smell, it was like somebody was brewing a fresh pot of coffee. And I just kept saying to her like, I smell coffee, like I want coffee, like I really. And at one point, one of the nurses, look at that. That's so good, that's so good. It, it turned out absolutely phenomenal so at one point one of the nurses says to me i go get you a cup of coffee i was like no thank you and then you know right towards the end when they were getting ready to take my sister out i was like my mind was like you know what you can do this one one last time you can go you can go to starbucks because it was a starbucks on my way back home and you can get um, a real quick, you know, cup of coffee, you know, let them use like coconut milk or whatever. And, um, my sister had said to me right before that instance, she was just like, she's like, you're stressed, you're nervous. And 
I think it was just in my head all day long. Like I was thinking about that. I was thinking about trigger points, right? Those things that when we're on a journey, my process right now being as weight loss, just being on that journey, that in that moment of, it wasn't stress, it was more like nervous, concerned about my sister, the unknown, you know, thinking about my son and getting him ready to leave, you know, my mom back at home in the bed, with, you know, while I'm with my sister, you know, she's gonna need something, you know, back at home. So all of these things are going on inside my mind and a trigger point. That thing that before was what comforted me, that Starbucks, that Dunkin' Donuts coffee, that or Frappy or Latte or Mocha, or whatever that was that was kind of like my quote unquote cigarette. That's like what my body just started craving. And so when I was on my way back, you know, home, I just remember what my why. And above is a kind of like a picture of the paper that we used a year ago when my mom had a seminar. And um, this was the paper that you used to write down your why. And so I used this form to write down in the three different areas, three different things that represented my 80%. And weight loss being one of those things. Anything outside of that circle is 20% and you say no to. You off the top say no to it. It's not an option. Um, it is something that you sacrifice. You don't sacrifice your 80%, you sacrifice your 20%. So as I'm driving home, I realized that Starbucks was in my 20%. I passed two Dunkin' Donuts and both of those was in my 20%. And then I said no, because I knew my why. And I knew that I can't revert back to what used to, in the past, comfort me. Because if I say yes to that, then I'll start saying yes to other things. I'll justify saying yes to eating ice cream. I'll justify saying yes to eating a cookie. I'll justify going backwards instead of going forwards. And so, as you are at the table with me today on this Meal Prep Monday and you're, in, you're watching me enjoy this delicious meal, if you want a copy of the form that I show, just hit my, my email address, is in the, the drop down below, um, as well as this entire rep recipe is in the drop down below. Um, I also have my Instagram and my Facebook link that's in the drop down below if you want to message me. I'd be more than happy to send you a copy of this for you to just for your own personal journey. You can use this for anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be for weight loss. It can be for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish that's a part of your purpose and a part of your destiny going forward into your future. And it's very important to know where you're going. It's very important, you know, if you are a person of faith, the, the Bible says to write the vision down and make it plain, right? I mean, this is a part of that process. Because when you write the vision down and you make it plain, then you know where you're going. And you're not just, you know, especially, you know, my, my, my brand, my tag name is the Blossom in Your Desert. When you're in a desert, you need to know where you're going. You don't need to just be wandering around in the wasteland and not know exactly where you're going. You need to at least have a compass with you to know, right now, I'm in this desert, but I know that there's um, some place to go and I need to head north. So you follow that compass. Knowing your why is your compass. It's that thing that you know, okay, I need to head north. And so you keep heading north, irregardless of what's the heat or what's going on around you. Your focal point is to head north because when I head north, I'm going to hit life. I'm going to hit civilization. I'm going to hit my destiny. I'm going to hit my purpose. So there's always things in our life that are trigger points and they trigger us to do certain things, whether healthy or not healthy. And those things 
can perpetuate into a lot of different things. So wherever your trigger point may be today, I just admonish you to write that thing down. And you have to put what you're struggling with in front of you. You can't just say, oh, I got this. I can do this, I can do that. That's where you, that's, that's the, that's where a lot of people go wrong because they think that they have the ability within themselves to self-correct whenever they want to self-correct. And I've learned that that can never be an option, especially when you're really, really, really wanting to be successful in whatever you do. There has to be a level of humility and there has to be that um, teachableness where you will allow life, people around you, to correct you and to be able to speak to you and say, you know what, I have an addiction to sugar. I can't do it by myself. So I'm gonna need to set certain parameters around myself, whether that is to go to counseling, whatever that may be that I need to do in order to self-correct so that going forward, I can be a conqueror of my sugar addiction and not someone that continues to fall off the bandwagon. Because every time you fall off the bandwagon, it makes it that much harder to, be, to get back on and be consistent in going forward. And so I always, every week, when you come and join me at the table, I always wanna encourage you as I do myself. A lot of the stuff that I'm sharing with you, I'm going through myself. There are struggles, there's different things that I'm walking through. And you know, this whole journey, I'm learning, I'm transitioning. It's a it's a day to day process, and it's not easy. You know, and there's so many different things that come to my way that can totally derail me and discourage me. Food, um, work, just so many different things that could just completely cause me to justify going backwards, right? You know, and, and I could just go into many thousands and hundreds of examples because it was a few that hit me this week. And they really just like came to my door and was like talking to me. And I had to like shut the door and be like, look here, I've been listening to y'all for many, many years and it didn't get me nowhere. And I'm talking about excuses. So I had to let my excuses know. I'm gonna let y'all stay outside my house. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door, boom. And I'm gonna go ahead and just be let me be about this, and I'm gonna let you excuses stay out there and be about that, cause you're not allowed in my home anymore. And that's how we have to be. We have to be able to speak to ourselves, and when those excuses and those things come, to justify being inconsistent, to justify being undisciplined, to justify, absolutely, you know, I'm helping my sister, my mom, my son. Absolutely, why not have a cup of coffee? And the thing of it is, is it's so innocent. It's so innocent. It's like, girl, have a cup of coffee. One cup of coffee. And then once you have that cup of coffee, you don't have to drink no more coffee. You don't have to drink no more coffee. And I'm like, what? No. Because if I have that one cup of coffee, then the next thing is going to be like, girl, eat that chocolate chip cookie. You know you want to eat that chocolate chip cookie, girl. You only had one cup of coffee. So now there, there's just like a domino effect. My meatloaf and cauliflower, it was delicious. I'm gonna be sharing the recipe and a picture later on this week on my Instagram page. Definitely stop in. It'll be after Wednesday. I do Wednesday quotes. So definitely follow me on my Facebook and Instagram page to check out my, my inspirational quotes that I leave every uh, Wednesday. Um, once again, guys, I always appreciate you stopping in and supporting me, watching my videos. Um, now that I've gone to Plan B, there will definitely be uh, vlogs and other things coming in September and October going into the last part of the year. Um, I'm almost at my 100 mark, so I think I'm planning on doing something really, really special for that. I'm really excited Hope about that you will stay tuned and continue to join me on this journey. Always, guys, I admonish you to blossom in your desert. Be blessed.